using MIDI with the CV recorder. In the left hemisphere I have MIDI in, and in the right hemisphere I have the CV recorder. Uh, MIDI in is connected to micro root, and uh, the outputs of a uh, CV in are going to uh, the CV recorder, which is going to the DPO for the oscillator, and then max is the EG going through, ripples is the VCA, and then DSM-03 for just a little bit of uh, liven it up. So uh, that's what's going on here. Now with the CV recorder, uh, recording is armed when you choose one of the uh, record modes. So I want to record both channel tracks one and two because I want to record the note as well as the gate uh, that's coming out of MIDI in. And then once I uh, cursor off this, recording is armed. And uh, what I need to do to start it is start Pamela's new workout. Pamela's new workout has a, uh, a uh, descends one uh, clock to the uh, the um, CV uh, or to the, the uh, clock input of uh, the CV recorder, and then the uh, this output here is just just goes on momentarily when the clock starts and that resets to the first step. And I'm just recording all 384 steps here. So when I start it, the CV recording starts. And then I can just play it as a... And then I can stop it by stopping Pamela's new workout. And uh, go off of record. Bring it back to play mode. And there we go. Now when I send a clock now, I'm uh, just playing back. And then I can use the... I can use the uh, range here to determine what I actually want to play, what I've actually recorded. Starts about seven. And of course, I can use Pamela's new workout to control the tempo. And then, of course, you don't need to use MIDI. You can use a Tetra Pad to record melodies, or any time you can get the gate and the note at the same time. Uh, you can do this kind of two-track recording. Uh, go blue.